guys, welcome back to Explore Electronics Plus. Let us understand a overview of AMBA bus protocols in this video. What is AMBA? AMBA is Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture. It is a open standard and on-chip interconnect specification for connection and management of different functional blocks in a SOC. Means we will be having different subsystems or functional blocks in our design. To interconnect those and to make a communication in an effective way, we need a standard that is AMBA. This AMBA is developed by ARM that standardizes the on-chip communication mechanism between the various IP blocks or functional blocks and it will give you the high performance in SOC designs. And where actually this AMBA is used in our designs then? This AMBA simplifies the development of designs with having multiple processors and large number of controllers in your design and if you have multiple peripherals, these AMBAs are used. And today AMBA is widely used in ASICs and also in SOC parts and these parts may be including like applications of processors which are used in the devices like IoT subsystems, smartphones and also networking SOCs. So let us understand more about these with an example. So protocol is just a set of rules. As we know, this set us the guidelines for communication, communicating the data between one and the other system. So here also in VLSI designs, this AMBA protocols define how the functional blocks communicate with each other. So if you see the diagram here, it will be having multiple functional blocks starting with a high bandwidth on chip RAM and we will be having a ARM processor and there is a high bandwidth external memory interface here and also we have a DMA bus master. All these are high bandwidth devices or these are going to communicate with high speed we can say and also we will be having UR, timer, keypad and PIO these are low bandwidth peripherals or low bandwidth devices the speed of these communication will be less and to communicate between those with a processor low bandwidth peripherals we will be having a protocol called APB and similar to have a high bandwidth devices and functional blocks to connect those we will be having a high bandwidth protocol called AHB. And to establish a communicating between these two, high bandwidth as well as low bandwidth, we will be having a bridge in between. So by looking at this diagram, we can clearly understand there will be a low bandwidth bus protocol and there is a high bandwidth bus protocol also available in AMBA. Generally, the basic motivation is that AMBA protocols is have a standard and efficient way to interconnect these blocks and reuse across the multiple designs of SOC. So let us understand more about the different types of AMBA protocols available and their limitations and applications. So you can see this diagram. It is given by ARM itself. There are different versions starting from AMBA and then AMBA 2, AMBA 3, AMBA 4 and AMBA 5. The very basic protocol is a PB that is advanced peripheral bus. It will be used for low bandwidth peripherals. And this is the system bus connecting the low bandwidth peripherals as I shown as UART and timer like that. And then we have AHB that is advanced high performance bus. This supports 64 bit, 128 bit multi manager means multiple master devices. And also there is AHB light used for single masters. And the next version which is a high performance one that is AXI advanced extensible interface. This supports a separate address and data phases, busts and multiple outstanding addresses and also responses. And then we have an advanced one that is ACE, AXI coherency extension. This is again a super set of AXI which will be used system wide coherency across multiple clusters. And also we have CHI that is coherent hub interface. This is a credited coherency protocol. It will be having a layered architecture for scalability. This is a brief introduction about these protocols and how actually uh, ARM developed this from starting from APB to CHI. Let us understand uh, each and every protocol with a brief introduction to those. First of all, what is APB? APB is the Advanced Peripheral Bus Protocol and generally it is used for connecting low bandwidth peripherals and it is a very simple non-point blind protocol non-pipeline in the sense there will be no parallel processing happen in this 
and it can be used to communicate uh, like write or read from a bridge what we have seen like a pb to hp bridge like that or master to a number of slaves through a shared bus and all these number of slaves and masters what we are going to connect will be using the same bus which will be shared and here the main thing is that the read and writes what we are going to do have same set of signals and there will be no bus data transfer supported and then we have ahb ahb is a advanced high performance bus this is used to connect the components with will work with higher bandwidth on a shared bus this is also a shared bus concept where these could be uh, a high bandwidth peripherals could be a internal memory or external memory like dme dsps in our system but these are going to use a shared bus again and it will limit the number of agents also and here the main thing we need to remember is that it is similar to apb it will use a shared bus protocol but it will support multiple masters and slaves and but higher bandwidth is possible through bus transfers in apb we will be not having it will not support a bus tra- a bus data transfer here the bus de- data transfer is possible that is ahb in ahb we will be having a light version of that it is a simplified version of ahb where the ahb protocol support multiple masters but this light protocol ahb light support only single master design okay and also that removes the need of arbitration retry split transactions it means the previous ahb protocol what we have seen this will support retry split mechanisms also and there is a arbitration to give the access to the multiple masters so this facility arbitration retry split transactions are not available with ahb light and then comes the next version of these is ahxi ahxi is a high bandwidth and low latency protocol where it will be connecting the high bandwidth peripherals and at this this is a point to point interconnect again and it will overcome the limitations of shared bus protocol why because it will be having a separate read write channels for write the data and read the data we will be having two separate channels and this protocol was enhanced from ahb itself and it will uh, support multiple outstanding data transfers also but ahb will not support the outstanding data transfers but ahxi supports multiple outstanding data transfers also that's why we say it is a pipelined data transfer and bus data transfers also supported in axi as it supports in ahb and separate read write channels are there in axi that will give us more performance with respect to the system communication and then comes axi light here also in axi we will be having a light version of that this is also a simplified version of the axi full protocol and this axi light will not support bus data transfers and as we seen in ahb ahb light is there similarly here axi light is also available and then comes axi stream protocol this is a advanced version or another flavor of axi protocol itself it will support only one way of communication we can say it means only streaming the data from master to slave is supported here here there will be no read write channels only one way of data communication it will support and in the stream protocol unlike full axi or axi lite as intended only for streaming in one direction so the very useful feature of this is useful in designs like video streaming applications where we will be transferring the video from one device to other device where there will be no read back or video back from that device to the master device in such cases we can use axi stream which will be having only one way of communication then comes ace that is axi coherence extension this protocol is an extension to axi 4 protocol and evolved in the era of multiple cpu cores there in your design where multiple cores with core and caches getting in- integrated in a single chip this ace is required and this ace is again a extension which extends the axi read and write data channels by introducing separate snoop address and snoop data and snoop response channels this is a extension of the same axi write read channels what we have and these extra channels provide mechanism to implement snoop based coherency protocol this is about ace and then we will be having ace lite this ace lite is a simplified version of 
the complete ACE protocol. Where ACE light will be used means when will be doesn't have a cache of its own, the designs without having a cache of its own, but still are part of uh, shareable currency domain. So in such cases, ACE light can be used, which will be implement one way currency using that particular protocol. And then comes CHI. This is the highest version of the protocols what we have in Namba. This CHI is a coherent hub interface. This protocol is developed with an again extension of AXI to support coherent interconnects. This protocol used single level communication between the master slave. Hence the interconnects needed large number of wires and there are with added channels for snoops as well as responses. And you can see this worked well for small current clusters with dual and quad core mobile SOC designs also. And we need to remember CHI protocol uses a layered packet based communication where the protocol link layer and the physical layer implementation also supports quality of service based flow control and retry mechanisms. And this is about all the protocols comes under AMBA and these are used from very basic peripheral connection for a communication between the different devices with low bandwidth to a high bandwidth multiple quad core designs. And also if you see the ARM website, you can go and download the specifications of these to get more idea of these. Thank you.